Get ready to dance and feel the heat. Grammy nominee Deborah Cox and more will soon begin performances in the Bodyguard musical at Paper Mill Playhouse in New Jersey before embarking on a national tour. We're here to find out more about the American premiere of this new musical. So first of all, tell me how excited are you to be leading the American premiere of The Bodyguard? Hugely, huge, huge, huge. I'm so thrilled. Once I found out that Deborah Cox was attached to this situation, I was like, I have to do the show. I have to get into audition for the show. And I just love the music. The music itself is just timeless and iconic and you know, that is worth the ticket alone. The Bodyguard has been a big hit in London for a while but Americans are finally going to get a chance to see it. What should they expect from this show? There's a lot of expectations, I think, that come from having seen the film. It's not that. They didn't just take the film and throw it on stage. It's completely re-envisioned. It's, it's more exciting. It's more dangerous. It's more spectacle. So for anyone who might not be familiar with the movie or the, the UK production of The Bodyguard, can you tell us a little bit about what the story is? Sure, it's about uh, a superstar a rock and roll superstar, Rachel Marin, who has a stalker. They're finding odd things in her dressing room and they know that she's in a dangerous situation. So they hire a bodyguard to protect her and it is about the conflict and eventually the love relationship that happens between the two of them. But it's a thriller. It's going to be actually more dangerous than you think. I will, without giving anything away, I mean the way we've integrated the the stalker scenes, people are going to be scared in their seats, I'll tell you, seriously. Are there moments or certain numbers that you're really excited for people to see? I'm very excited for people to see, oh my gosh, Run To You. It's one of my favorite moments where you get to see these two women, Rachel and her sister, um, Nikki. You know, you see the conflict and the vulnerability with the two women. I want to run to you. Why do you think audiences are going to love this show so much? Oh, I don't think, just wait until they hear the music and the dancing, what? The way that each of these songs is folded and woven into the story is just genius. So that every song and every hit, every everything that you've heard so many times before, it comes off the back of something that makes perfect sense. The numbers are shows within the show. Mm -hmm. So they're not necessarily always incorporated into the storyline. So you're getting concerts, you're getting yeah. performances. Part of the reason the movie was such a huge hit is just how thrilling and sort of dangerous it is. How much of that has been folded into this production? Oh, it's beautifully done, beautifully done and beautifully staged in the way where you're going to feel like on the edge of your seat. And there's a fog curtain, there's projections, there's CO2 blasts, there's scenery that moves, there's a lift that comes out of the stage, there's a whole... There's out all the stops. All the stops. The beauty of it is that it's a play but it's also a musical, so you get a little bit of both worlds. If you're in the mood to see a musical, you're going to get it, uh, especially with all these Whitney songs that we're singing. Let's brag about your leading lady for a moment. How amazing is it to watch Deborah Cox take on this role? There's a quality to her voice. I don't know what it is. It's not, it's not when she does the big, loud, fancy stuff. It's just the transitions and the timbre, and, and I don't know what it is. It's like butter. <laughs> you know? The stars have aligned and we've got great chemistry. She, I can't say enough about her character and, and just her uh, personality. She's super humble and so charming. I remember first day of readings. I, at one moment I'm looking down at the script and I start to hear, oh, I will always love you. And I'm like, is Whitney here? Is she channeling Whitney? 
you know, a lot of people know her as an R&B Grammy winning singer, but they don't, might not know what incredible actress she is. When audiences come to see the show, what do you hope they take away with them after spending a night at the Bodyguard? Well, I hope they take away a great theatrical experience. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck here, I feel. You're getting a story, you're getting a play and a musical, and you got Whitney's music as a bonus. It is a surprisingly strong play with some amazing singing, and Deborah will not let you down. She is just, she's all that. <laughs> you're gonna see the show like it's never, and may never ever be done again. Bring your tissues and your seat belt, because it's a ride.